Hello everyone, welcome. Um, today we're going to be using Canva to create our gang up for DTF printing. Uh, everyone out there uh, that's uh, doing DTF uh, understands that we need to set up uh, what we everyone is referring to as a gang up, uh, which is basically a full sheet depending on uh, the size of the production that you are planning to do. Um, typically, the gang ups are done in a 22 by 36, which is equivalent to about a yard um, of space. Um, the The Canva program has uh, obviously a membership um, option. Uh, which is uh, very good to have because it allows you to do many different things, as you'll see in a little bit when we get started. Um, it doesn't mean that you cannot use the free version. Um, you will, however, have some limitations, uh, like removing the background and things like that. Now, if you have other programs that can handle those steps outside of Canva, then um, you can just run with the standard version, the one that you can access online for free. Um, so in this particular uh, segment, what we're going to do is we're obviously using the uh, upgraded version. So we'll be able to do some features in here that perhaps you won't get with the free one. Um, so I guess it's up to you guys to decide what works for you guys best. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And uh, if you notice up here in the landing page, in the home page, um, you have this button up here that says create a design. So this is where we're going to basically start right here, right? Now, what we are creating is a custom size, right? You're not going to find it in any of the standard things that they offer you. So we're going to click on standard. We're going to key in here our size, which is 22 by 36. And... Uh, We've got to switch that to inches, very important. So let's go ahead and key that in again, and 36. All right, and here we go, create the new design. And this is going to take us right here. Here's our uh, yard, approximately, of 22 by 36. Um, we're going to come on over here and basically go to our uploads, which is this is the section here where you upload all the content that you are going to be working with, um, regardless of whether it's for a gang up or anything else. This is where you keep all your all your uploaded files. Um, so we can start by basically just moving things into here. Um, so for example, let's say that we go right here. And one of the things immediately that uh, we can start doing is resizing it manually. So it's 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 a really good feature um, to have. Um, we want to use up all the available space that we can, um, and uh, ideally, it's all uh, it's all down to how much we can resize the image and what position can we do it. Perhaps we could uh, we can turn it. Um, 90 degree angle, stack them up that way. Um, just make sure that you're using up all the available space that you can. Um, the next thing that I would like you guys to um, to consider is the uh, the background. So whenever you um, whenever you're exporting this eventually, you got to make sure that everything is in a transparent background, obviously, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and finish uploading everything that you are working with. And let's go ahead and gang it up as best as we can. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get all these little guys in here. And like I said before, the key is getting everything up here in place. Once we have everyone in place, we could uh, we can copy and we could paste. So let's just do uh, a really good quantity right there. There we go. So let's say we want a bunch of these Captain Americas. There we go. And we'll throw in one of these little guys in here. Get this guy a little smaller right there and there we go so now that we have 
Now that we have everything pretty much ready to go, what we're going to do is we're going to go to share and uh, in share, we're going to download this image into our hard drive. Uh, make sure that you select transparent background when you're doing that. And right here, we could select the style and the format of your file. So PNG is great. SVG, it's also good. Uh, try not to do uh, any other ones like JPEG or anything like that, these will definitely add a background to what you're doing. So it's imperative that this comes in without a background. Um, the uh, the PNG is the press one. Uh, we basically can then download it, put it exactly into our hard drive. And from there, you can go ahead and email it to us from that point. Um, one last thing I wanted to discuss with you guys, sometimes these files uh, could get pretty heavy, especially if you're doing multiple files and you don't want to um, forget to send one particular one in individual emails. It's best to maybe utilize a process called WeTransfer. And um, so WeTransfer is a free software uh, online that allows you to basically email um, your files. Uh, so it's a, it's a great way to stack up everything you have to send in. If you have to send three, four, five gang ups at the same time, um, you have no limit. Like anything, there are free um, uh, available um, softwares, and then there are ones that you can upgrade, as you can see up here. The key is to figure out if... if if it's advantageous for you to do the upgraded version and just to give you a just to give you a quick explanation and a rundown on the difference between those two things, uh, you can upload as many and you can send as many as you want for free. Uh, we transfer does not um, care about that part. It's it's retaining the information in the cloud that it comes down to the upgrade version. So the upgrade version lets you um, send those files and hold them for a specific time up on the cloud that you create and that's the reason why you're paying for space to have it there so let's say that you send a file and then you want to go back and not have to upload it again and you have everything basically in a folder in the cloud and that's what you're paying for you're paying for space but as far as sending it accurately and efficiently both the free and the upgraded versions work excellent um, so i encourage you to review that and let us know if we can help you with anything from that point forward.